Sheriff, one dead, four injured in St. Helena shooting overnight. This was published on August 26, 2022 at 426 a.m. for WBRZ.com. St. Helena Parish, five people were shot, one fatally during a shooting at a convenience store in St. Helena Parish. Joe Cheney, chief of operations for the St. Helena Sheriff's Office, said the shooting happened at around 11.30 p.m. Thursday at the last stop mini mart in Greensburg. So I'm from Louisiana, and for anybody who does doesn't know Louisiana is the only state in the country that has parishes instead of counties so just when you're reading this or listening just know that a parish is a county if you didn't know and also Louisiana is one of the most violent states one of the most vicious states in the nation uh, and I'm from Monroe Louisiana Washita Parish and uh, every day I'm so thankful I made it out alive uh, some people will say this shooting happened in a poverty-stricken area. The whole state of Louisiana is poor. Some people will say this happened in a crime-ridden area. The whole state of Louisiana is crime-ridden. We have some of the highest rates of violent crime in the nation, and nobody seems to care. Uh, some people will say that this happened in the bad part of town, and what they mean is the black part of town. And Louisiana is one of the blackest states in the nation. So when people say all of these platitudes or talking points to say this shooting doesn't matter or it's not endemic to the society, what they're trying to do is dismiss it when the bigger problem is the gun culture in America that continues to permeate. So people that want to do criminal activity, people in the heat of passion, people that want to hurt other people continue to be able to do it because they have easy access to weapons. And until Americans realize that the gun is not God and until the gun is not deified in the minds of Americans, we will continue to have mass shootings. We are close or over 500 mass shootings in 2022 alone and a mass shooting is when four or more people are shot some people will say this can't be a mass shooting only one person died and four people were injured you're insane in other countries this would be headline news this would be national news this would be the type of news that stops uh, the, the media coverage in another country we don't hear about 500 mass shootings happening in Spain Canada Portugal France etc. But America, the richest nation in the world, continues to let its poorest and most dis, uh, dispossessed citizens suffer from gun violence and also allows our children to die in schools and our old people to die in churches and people shopping in a supermarket can get shot up. And I'm not talking about events that happened 10, 20 years ago. I'm talking about shit that happened this year. This year alone, we saw 20 kids, 20 plus kids get killed in a school in Uvalde. We saw 10 black people just going about their day, get shot in a supermarket by a white supremacist terrorist. When will it stop? When will it stop? I'll continue reading. Cheney did not say what led to the gunfire, but said the victims were men and women. One person was killed and two were left in serious condition after glass and another and other fragments flew through the air when the gunfire began. We are going to continue to monitor their status, Cheney said, adding that the investigation was still in, in its early stages. I don't know the race of the people and I don't care because in America we need to stop racializing violence. We need to stop saying, well, you know, this only happens in that community or in the Mm, you know what I mean? Black community when it doesn't. I'm covering mass shootings on my channel and all types of people, all types of Americans are shooting each other. And it's ridiculous. And we need to stop dividing each other and coming together as one and realizing that we can have a safer, more prosperous nation if we all collectively agree that what we deem to be the Second Amendment or this idea that gun ownership makes us American or makes us free is only hampering us, allowing more bloodshed to happen. And St. Helena Parish is no stranger to mass shootings. Just from a quick Google search, you can find Greensburg, Louisiana. This was published in uh, 2020, May 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic, right? People still had time to kill each other. Three dead, one injured in what appears to be a murder-suicide shooting in St. Helena Parish. The St. Helena Parish Sheriff's Office responded to a shooting scene in which three people were killed and one was injured. Officials with the Sheriff's Office say they responded to the shooting at a home in the 600 block of Self Road in Greensburg around 1.20 p.m. on Wednesday, May 27th. A spokesperson with the Sheriff's Office says there's no gunman on the loose, but that the believed shooter is one of those who was shot. It's so hard for all of us because this ain't never happened to us said linda miles whose three family members were shot and killed family members identified two of the deceased victims in wafb's lester duhay as eddie carter 44 and tyrone carter 48 family members tell wafb eddie carter left 
this older man, this older man, and Tyrone Carter Wright were shot and killed by their cousin in Greensburg, Louisiana, on May 27, 2020. The shooter also shot and killed himself, according to the St. Helena Parish Sheriff's Office. Now, some people will stop this video and say, this sort of crime happens in every country. Some people kill their family members in every country. Yes, it's absolutely true. People that want to kill their family members will do it. But in America, we see too many of these stories because we allow too easily guns to permeate in our society. Yes, some people who will commit these crimes of murder, heinous murder, will get their guns illegally because they are criminals. But guess what, guy? Guess what? Every illegal gun was once purchased legally. Guns don't just fall from the sky. They were once purchased legally and then flood out into the rest of society. And also, I'm talking now specifically to black people. As black Americans, we need to realize that gun violence is allowing too many of our people to die. And now I'm not a black nationalist, despite what some people may say. But if we are going to have this identity foisted upon us, we need to realize that too many young black men, older black men, all black people are being killed by gun violence. The number one cause of death for black men like me is gun violence and murder. I'm more likely to die from another black man. Yes. For people, for anybody who's going to say you talk too much about white supremacy and terrorists and stuff like that. Yes, I am absolutely more likely to die from the hands of another black man with a gun than I am a white supremacist terrorist in a mass shooting. Absolutely true. That does not make white supremacist terrorists not a threat and a, and a, a, a very real threat. But I will say. We as black Americans need to realize that holding on to the Second Amendment, uh, advocating for gun ownership and all that sort of and all those sorts of things will only lead to more black men dying because the way these guns are permeating our society and our communities specifically allows our children, our men, our fathers, our cousins, our brothers to continue to kill each other and be killed. Stop it. We need to stop it. Abolish the Second Amendment for the sake for the sake of our black babies. Period. Period. And I'll die on that. I will. I believe in that in my whole heart. I'll continue reading. Both Eddie and Tyrone were cousins and were shot and killed by another relative, according to family members. The shooter has been identified by family members as William Moore, 23. Eddie was William's uncle and Tyrone was William's cousin. Van Darius Carter, 23, was also shot in the arm and is expected to survive, family members say. Moore's mother says he shot the others, then shot and killed himself. The mother also says she believes her son was off his medication at the time. Some people say that gun violence is only a issue of uh, mental health. And while that is partially true, the majority of the mass shootings that I cover on my channel have absolutely nothing to do with mental health. There is nothing in the reports that say the person was crazy. When I hear about a, a, a shooting where, you know, I don't know. The police in Colorado shot up an entire crowd because one guy had a gun, threw it away. That had nothing to do with mental health. When I talk about, I don't know, all the people who get into fights and shoot each other, that has nothing to do with mental health. Those are heat of the moment. This situation might have been, might have been a time where somebody who was off their medication mental medication, presumably, because who knows, it might have been heart medication, might have been kidney medication, whatever. Presumably, let's say he was on his, uh, I don't know, bipolar medication and he did not take it. Then he decides to shoot his two cousins. Yes, this is that one rare instance where mental health comes in. But even if mental health is the issue, we have too many Americans. There are 400 million of us. And if there is only what? 2% of us, 5% of us that have uh, mental health problems, that's hundreds of thousands of people. We don't need to allow guns to f uh, flood into a society with hundreds of thousands of people that cannot mentally uh, take care of themselves and make good judgment. So abolish the Second Amendment. William Moore, 23, is believed to have been to have shot three people, then himself Wednesday, May 27th in Greensburg. Uh, I don't know if this is him. Uh, does not matter. Then by the time the police pulled up here, he shot himself in the head, said Virginia Moore, William's mother. The family now has to bury three loved ones all related to each other at one time. It's a tragedy. It's a national tragedy that nobody's heard about and nobody will care about. Because first and foremost, the victims are black. They're poor. They're from the bottom of the bottom of the bottom of Louisiana. And of course, Americans say that mass shootings are worth having a gun in your closet that you never use, that gets rusty and dirty just to say you have it, right? 
I'll continue. My heart is broken and I don't know what to do. My head hurts. My heart hurts. We just need everybody to pray for us and our family because it's sad. Send miles. The investigation is ongoing. Uh, I hope there's justice in all of these shootings, right? I hope there was justice for this one that happened well over two years ago. And I hope that there's justice for this one that happened today. But for tomorrow, we need to look to a future of an America without guns. Abolish the Second Amendment. My name is Simon Hill. Thank you for watching. Peace.